But first tonight, a bizarre crime spree that started with the abduction of a 30-year-old man and ended with a violent shooting and a car crash in broad daylight, injuring a mother and her two-year-old daughter. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts is at police headquarters to bring this story up to date. Alicia. Yuki, good evening to you. Right now, two men are in police custody, but a third person remains on the run. Officials tell me as dangerous as this all was, it could have been so much worse. It's an obvious crime spree. We have three separate crimes that took place. Just before 5.30 Wednesday night, police responded to calls of a 30-year-old man abducted by three men along the 1700 block of South 65th Street in southwest Philadelphia. Witnesses say that a male... A male was just pulled from the highway and forced inside of a dark color or black Jeep. And that vehicle, after committing this abduction, fled the scene. About 20 minutes later, officers responded to calls of a shooting and car crash just a few blocks away at 68th and Cobbs Creek Parkway. When they arrived, they realized it was that same SUV from the abduction that crashed head on into two cars injuring a mother and her two-year-old daughter. The two-year-old daughter had some minor injuries, but she was conscious. We believe she's okay. They also found the abducted man in the back of that SUV with multiple gunshot wounds to the lower torso and legs. After getting involved in that auto accident, three males exit this Jeep. One of them, according to witnesses, turns around and pulls a gun and fires into that Jeep. The 30-year-old was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. As police were responding to both crime scenes, officers nearby spotted two men matching the description of two of the suspects who were immediately taken into police custody. They also learned that SUV was reported stolen back in May. And as of right now, detectives continue to review surveillance images from both of those crime scenes as they work to catch up with that third suspect. They're also trying to figure out a motive. We're live tonight outside police headquarters. Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you for that.